question is what is your favorite drugstore brand um it really depends i can't really say i have a favorite drugstore brand simply because the fact that i feel like um i purchase a lot of different kind of drugstore things like throughout the year um I sometimes I can't like really say that one line does it for me um, basically because you have Revlon that makes really good products sometimes you have Maybelline that makes really good products sometimes and then you have like sometimes they just completely miss the mark and it's like what and wild has the best products so um, you know so it really just depends um, I'm one of those people I buy a lot of multiple different things I don't just stick to one drugstore brand it's kind of like my regular makeup brands I don't just stick to one brand um, question number two what are your favorite face cheek and lip products okay so this is a prime example um, of what I'm talking about my favorite um, face products would have to be I think of all the foundations that I tried um, during the summer and all the ones that I felt just really held up really nicely I'm gonna have to actually go with the Revlon color stay whipped and this one is in 340 caramel this one is actually pretty dark on me now because we are transitioning into fall um, we're in fall right now but um, I'm getting lighter now so this one really doesn't pull it off as well as it should um, it, it's really kind of dark on my skin and when I apply this now it almost makes me look kind of muddy looking but I have to say like this I think was the best foundation I wore through the entire Other summer. Other things that I think are good for face is um, actually this Maybelline Instant Eye Dark Circle Eraser. Um, some people use it for dark circles. I use it for dark circles now that I have the neutralizer one and I also use it to do highlight with as well so you can use it for that. Um, but I just really love this product. So that's a prime example right there. Revlon and it's from a completely Lake. different brand. This is actually from Physicians Formula and this is in Rosie. And I've just really been loving this. And like I said, I'm pretty much all over the place in the drugstore when it comes to getting stuff that I like. It really doesn't matter. Like I go across the board completely, you know, so it really doesn't matter. For highlight, I would I stick with Physicians Formula and the translucent one. It just looks like this. So basically, I'm all over the place when it comes to drugstore products. And then if we were really just talking about like eyes, of course, then I would have to go to Wet n Wild. I mean, who doesn't love any company that has, that just comes out with just so many different pretty shadows and, and different shades and stuff. These are being discontinued, by the way, if you don't know. So if you have any of these, you might want to, um, or if you really like these, you might want to stack up on them because these are going to be discontinued. Um, but, I mean, you can just do so many different looks. These are, are really, like, great dupes that you can get from these. Um, Emily Noel 83 did a video. Basically, a lot of her dupes actually came from the Wet n Wild palettes. So, I mean, you really can't beat that. product. My least favorite drugstore product, and this one actually, like, I don't shop drugstore often, but when I do shop drugstore, I think if you watch my favorites video already, then you know basically all the stuff that I was loving was almost completely drugstore. I mean, I really went hard with drugstore for the month of November. Mostly because there wasn't anything higher end coming out. And because sometimes you just don't have the kind of money to spend. And I know with holiday coming up, I kind of wanted to save my money basically up for Black Friday. And I was just buying little stuff here and there. Um, that product would be these, well this Maybelline Falsies Volumizing Express. Now I know a lot of people like this. I liked it at first too, but the fibers I just felt were too much for me. Once... The fiber fell in my eye. I love the way it lengthened. Lengthened. I love it. Whatever. I love the way it lengthened my eyebrows. Um, my eyelashes. <laughs> but the problem that I had with this is that once one of those fibers fell in my eye, I was completely done with it. I was like so done at that point that I didn't want to have anything else to do with it. So then I went out and I bought another one that was in the, the blue. And I didn't like that one. And of all of those, I just ended up using the, um, sorry about that. Over all of those, I just really ended up using the, um, Maybelline, um, 
the cat eyes ones. That was the one I ended up liking the best. Oh. Craziness. What is the best makeup bargain? This product, the best makeup bargain, um, and it says, okay, the best makeup bargain, I think, in the drugstore are basically your Wet n' Wild, the, the shadows. I don't think you're going to really get any better than those. I think, what is the most expensive one? Like, one like this is maybe, what, 6 or $7? Like, this, this is the I Heart Matte, um, but then they changed the name of this and they redid it to um, drinking a glass of shine or having a glass of shine or something like that, but... You're, you're not going to get these many shadows anywhere else for that price. And they're not going to be as pigmented as these are. So that's just something to keep in mind. I absolutely love Wet n Wild. Especially like these little trios here. They're perfect. I mean, I did a look wearing this one that was amazing. I'm not sure I actually did. I actually, did I do a video on it? I'm not sure. But if I didn't, I'm going to do one on this. Because this is a really really pretty palette and the way I just used it it was amazing um when I was really going for that whole kind of vampy look which I still love by the way I used um this palette and it's just really really pretty and the darkness and the smokiness and the way I had it winked up it was just perfect and this one I really love and I'm sorry that they're discontinuing this one but even I mean all of them really mattes on this side shimmers on that side these are definitely, I think, like the best drugstore products that you can get. They're liners, they're nail polishes, wet and wild. Question. Um, my favorite underdog product. Okay. Now, this one doesn't even get mentioned, and I don't know why, because this product is so good. And it's actually by e.l.f., and it is the e.l.f. Zit Zapper. Why don't you people talk about this? Like, it's amazing. Basically, it's a rollerball, and you just apply this where you're getting a zit. It's best to use it um, when you first realize you're getting a zit. So I keep one in my purse. I keep one on my nightstand. I keep one in the bathroom. Just wherever I'm at, I have to have one of these with me. You're, you're getting a zit. You basically just put this on here, like I said, rollerball kind of application. Roll that on. That's it. Next morning, gone. It's dried up. It's gone. It's non-existent. However, if you happen not to catch the zit at the exact moment that it's about to be something, like if you don't catch it before it comes out the skin, put this on it. Same process, it will bring it to a head. Like the next day, it's brought to a head. The next day, it's gone. Good stuff. Good stuff. Best thing about it, it's only a dollar. So you definitely have to get that. It's like the best underdog product that it should be talked about a lot more but it's not um let me see a drugstore product that is overpriced for me i think an overpriced product would have to be the physician's formula that whole line i feel is overpriced and the only reason why i have the two items that i have now is because they were on sale for 6.99 so it was buy one, I think it went for $6.99, or either they were both $6.99 when I bought them. That was the only reason why. So basically it was like getting two for the price of one, because Physician's Formula, to me, is overpriced. I'm not going to want to spend basically um, $12 on a blush. Are you serious? I can almost get a MAC blush for that. I'm not going to spend that much on it, or I can get a really pigmented e.l.f. blush, or, you know, and that's only $3.00. You kind of, you know, it, it, I, to me, that line is just really, really overpriced, and it, it shouldn't be. Um, and especially if it's good for your skin. You would think if it's good for your skin, they would want more people to know, so they wouldn't, like, just, you know, completely mess up the price. Drugstore dupes. I'm going to save you some time. I don't have any dupes. Emily Noel 83 has dupes. Feel free to go to her channel after this video and check them out. I will have her link down below so you can go to her channel and check it out. Um, drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. Hmm. I didn't really put anything in my basket for that one. Um, it really isn't worth the hype. I really can't think of anything. I think a lot of things that a lot of beauty gurus or people in the beauty community rave about. I think it's different for every single person. I actually think 
that you have to determine what's right for you. Like, it might be something that I mentioned today that I absolutely love and have to have in my makeup routine, and you don't necessarily, necessarily need it in your routine. You know, so that's just the way it is sometimes. You know, like some of the things I mentioned you might not like, like the Color Stay Whipped Foundation. That's basically medium to full coverage. A lot of people don't like that. Um... They like, you know, the, the, the sheer tint or the BB creams or something like that. So, that's the difference, I think, with that. Um, she's excited. Um, and it's nap time. <laughs> but, um, you know, basically, I think it's just really up to the type of person um, when it comes to, like, the best and worst drugstore products. Because only you can really be the judge of what works for you and what doesn't and what's, like, overhyped about um, but definitely I think that that e.l.f. product that I mentioned to you guys is under talked about. It's, it's, it's a wonderful product, but yet it doesn't get a lot of talk. So there you guys have it. That is the tag. Um, let me know if you want me to do some more tag videos. I'm actually taking video requests now. So you can go ahead and shoot me a comment and let me know what type of videos that you guys like. Um. Let me see, is there anything else I wanted to run by you really quickly? I think that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm probably going to edit the crap out of this video <laughs> because it's long. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.